Are you currently suffering from insomnia? Do you have trouble falling asleep or wake up frequently in the middle of the night? Well, in this video I'm going to talk about an alternative that you can use to treat insomnia called polyphasic sleeping. I've seen many people decrease the time it takes for them to fall asleep from several hours to mere minutes and hope that you can consider this method to sleep less, be more productive and especially uh, treat your insomnia. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Crimson Flower and I'm a main author of polyphasic.net, the community recommended resource for polyphasic sleepers. Um, so the topic of the video is going to be how to cure your insomnia with polyphasic sleeping. And I'll start by briefly explaining what polyphasic sleeping is. Polyphasic sleeping is sleeping several times during the day as opposed to monophasic sleeping, where you only sleep once. This will allow you to be more productive, dream more, sleep a shorter duration in total, as well as fall asleep faster. If you're interested in knowing more about polyphasic sleep, this entire channel is dedicated to it, so you can start by watching our playlist on the different polyphasic schedules. The link to it will be in the description. But let's start by explaining why polyphasic sleep can be used as an insomnia cure. Basically, it draws from similarities between the cognitive behavioral therapy method for insomnia, or CBTI for short, called sleep restriction. Essentially, the basic of this method is that you restrict the duration that you spend in your bed, um, increase your sleep deprivation, and thus it becomes easier to fall asleep. With polyphasic sleeping, you are also restricting the window of sleeping, but there's a difference here uh, in that polyphasic sleeping requires a permanently strict window, so you don't increase the total sleep time even after you start falling asleep faster. So with polyphasic sleeping, you are not only interested in restricting your sleep, but are also interested in napping during the day. Also at specific timings. This allows you uh, after you've adapted to the schedule to get the same amount of slow wave sleep or deep sleep and REM sleep as when you are on a monophasic schedule. In other words, you stop being sleep deprived after you've been on the polyphasic schedule for around one to two months. Now this sounds like an awesome way to sleep less and feel better and you might be suspicious because of it. Well, there are downsides to it. On polyphasic schedules, uh, you can't really consume stimulants and you need to be extremely strict with your sleep times. Uh, there are also other considerations that you need to take regarding your lifestyle and I'll link a playlist to our polyphasic adaptation education in the description so you can learn more about what not to do on a polyphasic schedule. Also, the adaptation process is definitely not going to be a walk in the park. It's going to be extremely taxing on you mentally, but there's gold at the end of the rainbow. There's a gain of several hours during the day and a better life in general. Okay, I mentioned in the beginning of the video that there are several people who have been able to fall asleep faster because of a polyphasic adaptation. For example, in an interview I conducted with Edward, the link to it will be in the description, he talked about how polyphasic sleep helped him to fall asleep faster uh, than when he wasn't on a polyphasic schedule. Paradoxic, the author of Uber Sleep, also used polyphasic sleeping to treat her chronic insomnia. And there are many, many more examples of polyphasic sleep helping people who suffer from insomnia. But okay, back to the comparison between polyphasic sleeping and insomnia. A common way to treat insomnia is also to improve people's sleep hygiene. What this means is that you block out blue and green light a few hours before you go to bed. You also avoid stimulating electronic screens a few moments before you go to bed, avoid eating close to sleeping and so on. And the best thing is that polyphasic sleepers also need to make these considerations in order to be able to avoid destabilizing their circadian rhythm. So whether you are liking it or not, when you are sleeping polyphasically, you are both restricting your sleep window and have a very good sleep hygiene. Two things of CBTI that's used for people to help them with insomnia. Now you know the gist of what polyphasic sleeping is and how it treats insomnia. And you've heard some anecdotal evidence for it working for people. Now I suggest you start looking into how to succeed 
on a polyphasic schedule because there's a lot going into it and I can't fit it all in a single video. Our channel has many videos on the topic and I suggest you check it out. You can also take a look at our website polyphasic.net where you will find everything that you need in order to succeed with an adaptation. Also, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out when we release new videos on the topic so you can maximize your chances of adapting to a polyphasic schedule. Also, please share in the comments below if you have any more questions regarding polyphasic sleep as an insomnia cure. Thank you and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Nap well people!